feeling hot, hot, hot. Just got vaccinated. It's on this arm. You can't see it. Just raise the sleeve real quick. There it is. I got vaccinated today. So there, uh, when I entered the location, first the guard will give you a number and you wait with the number. And the whole process took about one hour, so it's not too long. Even though there were like 60 people before me, uh, still I moved pretty fast. And there were three booths to go to. First booth, you have to kind of get admitted to the process of a vaccination. So basically, it's just the doctor taking your names and uh, uh, telling, telling you to go to the next, next booth to wait. And they have to check your health card and, and stuff. And then go to the next booth, you wait at a chair uh waiting for your number to be called on the screen and then you go to the second booth to get vaccinated and then after you get vaccinated you have to wait for 15 minutes to clear that you don't have an allergic reaction you have to wait in the monitoring zone for 15 minutes like during those 15 minutes wait i've witnessed the two people collapsing one of them just slowly she just felt very um ill or something and caught someone and uh, they put her on uh, on the ground and wait and then the, the, the medical professionals took her away and the second one just suddenly collapsed and she sat in the back so nobody saw her she just collapsed with a huge ban uh, with a chair flipping uh, banging the wall and everything so I, that was pretty scary everyone just turned around and look and saw the, this woman just just collapsed on the ground not moving and uh, the, um, the doctors are rushing over to her. So that was pretty scary. So there's a small chance of you getting an allergic reaction and it's pretty scary and could be deadly if it is not treated immediately. That's why we were kept there for 50 minutes uh, before we, we leave or move on to the next procedure, which is to book next uh, the second dose. So that was the first dose. So we booked the second dose uh, after the vaccination. All right, so that's the whole process. I wanted to vlog on my way back, but it was so hot right now. Italy is as hot as a desert, so I don't want to shoot a video outdoors. Also, I didn't bring my microphone. So yeah, that's the update. I got vaccinated, awesome. And uh, I will get second dose in September. So yeah, that's the update. This is lunch, meatball and some veggies. And then we have Big watermelon, Coca-Cola, good stuff. What are these? Oh, more fresh veggies. I'm gonna cook this tonight with curry, uh, with a potato, potato, cucumber, and tomato uh, curry. It's gonna be fun. So the previous clips were shot with the uh, Cinelac D profile, and right now I'm using a natural profile. Just wanna see the difference, which one has better dynamic range. The Cinelac D is supposed to have better dynamic range. I also customized it a little bit. I uh, tuned down the sharpness and the uh, saturation and the uh, contrast and everything. Everything is a little bit, little bit lower, you know, sharpness all the way down to minus five. So right now, this is just natural profile with a no, mo no customization. Um, let's see how it looks. I kind of want to try to get some film look, so some soft image because the 4K video come out of the camera is just very sharp, super sharp. Uh, a lot of detail, very sharp. So I want to get some soft look and uh, let's see if we can achieve that. So right now it's a natural profile and I'm gonna switch to some other profiles and uh, customize it, you know, change it a little bit, tweak a little bit here, a little bit there and see what difference can it make. And we have a perfect backdrop, you know, this is, there's a sky in the back so you can see the dynamic range uh, compared to my face and the background, uh, which one uh, you know, the, the exposure, if it's uh, uh, good on both. All right, now let's switch. Okay, right now we're back at Cinelac D and this time I have everything at minus five right now because previously I shot the contrast at minus one or two and saturation was at minus one. So it was not all the way and now it's all the way. So everything is minus five right now. So you can see it's really desaturated before I color grade it. This is Vivid Profile. I never used this profile because it's so saturated. It looks, uh, you know, just the color is just too rich. And um, 
yeah, just want to throw this in there and uh, see the difference here. I think my face is really saturated, really red and warm looking and the background looks nice. Um, I think the background is pretty nicely uh, exposed, but I don't know. I'll just crouch down here, do a similar shot to them just like before. The sun is still very bright. And I just look super red in this profile, vivid profile. Now my skin is dark, but uh, this is turning me into a lobster. And we're back to natural profile with no customization. This is the standard profile I use to shoot videos, day-to-day -day vlogs. Um, basically, I don't need any color grading with this profile. I think the color straight out of camera is fantastic, really beautiful and pleasing and especially with the oh, I'm out of focus especially when I'm using a filter it, it has a little bit a very subtle kind of um, a warm look to it sometimes a little bit greenish maybe a little bit warmish uh, kind of subtle filter look so that that's nice um, all right yeah it is just too hot for any outdoor adventure I don't want to go out and I don't know, any outdoor activity is just too hot right now. We're in August, mid-August, and it's hot, 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 like summer hot. It is so boring. I'm gonna stay home and play StarCraft on stream. Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, I was just editing the footage I just shot, and I think with the correct exposure, it actually looks pretty ugly on my face when I apply LUTs. So this time I'm gonna overexpose a little bit. I'm gonna overexpose for one stop uh, so that my face will be correctly exposed and uh, we can still retain hopefully the you know the highlight in the background. Uh, that's the idea. So you know when I shoot S-Lock uh, 2 on my A7S 2 I always overexpose. You are supposed to always overexpose by two stops or one and a half stops. Uh, to get a proper exposure. So um, GH5, maybe I also need to overexpose a little bit. I don't know, I've never uh, really experimented before. So this time I think this should look better. Right now we're over overexposing it by one stop. And uh, before I go back to editing, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just shoot a clip real quick. This is like overexposed by two stops. I don't think this will work because the background is totally blown out and I can't see anything yeah it's too much probably one stop is uh, is is the sweet spot actually nothing looked good I think I just suck at color grading